Welcome back. We're here at the Be Human Art Gallery. I'm hanging out now with Marco Omar. First name Omar, last name Marco. Man, congratulations, man. I'm seeing you selling some of your artwork. Very, very encleptic. Uh, the one that I really like is already sold, so we can't see it. But just go ahead and just give us some information about yourself, man, as an artist, as a photographer, and let us know what direction you're going in. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, the piece that I sold was actually entitled Fetal Beauty. Um, the whole concept behind the entire series is uh, the way we envision ourselves in the future, um, embracing the pregnancy and not being able to have to cover it up and showing and exposing it. Um, over here we have a futuristic doctor and, and the lifeline that she brings to many people, you know, how healthcare is such a big role in today's society. And transitioning over here to bloodthirsty, I just feel like more people are getting plastic surgery and altering themselves with tattoos. and. You're not the same person you are from the day you were born when you die. So I feel like we're transitioning into a phase where you're adding or deleting parts of yourself physically. Um, this piece is the hybrid. I feel race is not a really relevant issue anymore. I feel that we need to break down barriers and all be equal and not see each other as a black man, as a white man, as a Chinese man, just as a man or a female. Um, so I feel like the hybrid is indicative in the clothing blends in with the skin tone. We don't see that color. We just see as a person what they are. And then the last one here is uh, twin clones. I just feel like with the medical advances and technology that we have, we're going to have cloning sooner or later and harvesting organs. And, you know, some of these things are, have a positive message and some of them have a negative connotation to the way that we're transitioning the way we live our lives. So I just hope to be able to invoke some thought with the, the photography that I'm displaying, so hopefully people can catch the concept. Overall, man, I have to say it's very thought-provoking, you know, very thought-provoking and gives uh, it's more than meets the eye, and so I'd like to congratulate you for really bringing that out into your artwork. Where can people find you at online? Well, you can find me at omarmarcosphoto.com or on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. It's Omar Shooter, and Shooter's no E, so it's S-H-O-O-T-R, like Flickr or Tumblr. That's basically where you can find me. Sounds good, Omar. Now, you're here at the Be Human Art Gallery. Tell us about the vibe, man. It was incredible. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of energy. It's a great situation when you're able to get a lot of like-minded individuals in the same area that think the same way. And we're all creative geniuses, everybody. It doesn't matter if you're an artist or not. You got something to offer. But when you're able to collect this many artists in one location and then you got people coming to enjoy the artwork, it's an amazing feeling. I mean, the vibe is great. It's been great all night. And we just want to thank everybody that came out. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Omar. You heard it first here at EB5 International TV, a show where everybody feels an international vibe experience. Hello beautiful humans, I'd like to welcome you to EB5 International TV, a show where everybody feels an international vibe experience. I'm your host, T. Michaelis. We are here now at the Be Human Art Gallery, whose goal is aimed to interconnect the international community here in Houston, Texas. Welcome to BSU. Let's get it started.